Hey guys, welcome back to BruinsThisMathClub.com. Our today's topic is multiplying a decimal by a whole number. In our last video, we talked about estimating the product of a decimal and a whole number. Well, in this video, it's really like easy because in our last video, we had to take that additional step and go ahead and estimate the decimal. Well, in this time, in this topic, all you have to do is do simple multiplication. So let's say we have 2.3 times, let's say, 45. You do not need to worry about estimating the 2.3. All you have to do is do simple multiplication. But sometimes people get confused with the decimal point. You're like, well, what am I supposed to do with that? Like, do I have to add it in or something? Well, guess what? No. It's really easy. All you have to do is take this decimal point and just put it to the side. You're like, okay, you know what? 2.3 has now officially become 23. So all you have to do is 23 times 45. So all we have to do now is do this simple multiplication. So we know that 3 times 5 is 15. So 5 carry the 1. 5 times 2 is 10 plus the 1 equals 11. Now we have 4 times 3 is 12. So 2 carry the 1. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Now we add these. So 5, 2 plus 1 is 3. And 9 plus 1 is 10. That means we have 1,035. Now, this is something really important that you have to remember. When you get your product, don't just leave it like that because that will be wrong. What you have to do now is you come back to this and you put the decimal point back. So now, once again, you have 2.3 times 45. You take this product and you shift it over here. So it becomes 1,035. Actually, let's get that comma out. And now... You count the number of decimal numbers after the decimal point. So after the decimal point, as you can see, there is only one digit, which is 3, right? So since it's only one digit, all you do is you go here. Now for 1,035, that's the whole number. So that means the decimal point is going to be at the end. What you do, you take that decimal point and you move it one place. Why one place? Like sometimes people say, okay, this is a point three. Why not move it three places? Well, because we're not counting the value of that digit. We're just counting how many digits there are. And since we know that there's only one digit, we take that decimal point and we move it one place from right to left. Why right to left? Remember, right to left decreases the value and left to right increases the value. Here, since we are doing multiplication and we had um, made the 2.3 into 23, and we had increased it, now we're decreasing it. So you'll move it from right to left, one decimal place, and so it will become 103.5. That means, so if you get that out, the product of 2.3 times 45 equals 103.5. All right, I hope you guys under understood this topic. And if you want to have additional practice, then you can always visit our website. And we'll see you guys next time.